Hi everybody, I have a really fun video today. I want to talk about stained glass versus fused glass and how it applies to my art. So here's one of my favorite styles of stained glass. It's ring model. I fell in love with this when I was looking at Tiffany style stained glass lamps. I was at the House on the Rock. I was little, it was beautiful, it was a vacation, and I could just stay there and look at lamp upon lamp. They have a huge collection, and I was just loving the story that they told about Kokomo glass and how they supplied this particular style of glass. So, as a young child, I had a love affair of glass from early on, seeing all the church windows all of the different hotel lamps that you walk by and you're just like, ooh, it's just so pretty and sets such, such a beautiful like ambiance. And then of course, looking at kaleidoscopes, beautiful stained glass kaleidoscopes, who wouldn't fall in love with all those colors? So of course when I grew up I had to recreate it because I loved kaleidoscopes, was make these little cabochons that you see in this box to create my kaleidoscopes. That was the whole beginnings to why I fell in love with fused glass. And fused glass is so different because you can layer powders on top of one another, stringers, you get various different kinds of glass. You can basically change the colors if you want. You can take a pretty clear piece of glass and layer powders and make it opaque to let the light through. But it's just so much fun. You can paint and there's a lot of differences. They're subtle, but you can see the differences between stained glass and fused glass. This one, I'm able to paint my own designs and layer powders, and they all hang out together, and I really enjoy this. This is a traditional leaded style window that you find in most homes, in churches, in some hotels. It's absolutely beautiful. This is classic cathedral style water glass and you have some opaques and different textures. This is the traditional leaded glass and what it looks like. Then you have copper foil and these are usually smaller panels, not more than two foot by two foot without some reinforcements. And this is just another example of leaded glass of what you can do with that and then we get into one of my favorite which is powdered and fused glass. You can take different powdered glass, mix them together and get such a beautiful rainbow effect. Artistically speaking, you have such endless possibilities using powdered glass and what I like to use is 90 style so it's all cohesive together. Most people like to make plates and bowls, which is always a lot of fun. But I always have this desire to take beautiful stained glass and then fused glass and of course marry them together. It's one of the reasons why I very much enjoy making my fused glass boxes and panels. You take something classic like stained glass that's been around for hundreds of years and then you add a little modern infused glass. Thank you everybody for watching. It really helps an artist out if you can hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you guys.